Finally tonight, in the middle of a grocery store aisle, one man's heart started to give out. That's when complete strangers jumped into action. But as it turns out, they weren't all strangers. Here's ABC's John Donvan. I was really, really gone. So, and here I see it. Michael Kitty knows he very nearly died that day. The 60-year-old collapsed here, a supermarket in Valdez, North Carolina, where he was stocking shelves when his heart stopped. I need an ambulance. He's not breathing. I have a young man here who's trying to help us. This high school student, James Crosno, who was studying to be an EMT, he was in the store and rushed over. He started administering CPR. I checked his respirations and his pulse. We didn't have anything. Two nurses happened to be grocery shopping, too. They jumped into the rescue, pushing on the chest of the man on the floor, who now looked lifeless. He's laid out on the floor purple and... We We're checked. Just, he had. Um, he didn't have no pulse. No pulse. No he respirations. Was dead. Then the EMT crew at the fire department. They got the call. Blue line in Valdez. CPR in progress. Cardiac arrest. Including this man, who didn't realize at first, but the life they were trying to save was his dad's. In the rush, he didn't get a good look at the face under the oxygen mask. It's a different experience once you realize it is a family member. Well, you know how it ends because you've met Michael Kitty, who's back out of the hospital now and thanking everyone who had a part in saving him. Those who did their job, those who just happened by and jumped in to help. John Donvan, ABC News, Washington. We thank John for that story and we thank you for watching. GMA First Thing in the Morning, David Muir is right back here tomorrow night. I'm Tom Yamas in New York. Have a great evening. Good night.